Welcome to PowerPoint Basics. This presentation is designed to show you the most basic things you need to know to put together a PowerPoint presentation. This is using PowerPoint 2007. If you have an earlier version of PowerPoint, it's still somewhat helpful. However, it might look a little different. You might have to search for some of the functions I'm talking about. Yet it's pretty much the same. OK, first of all, right now, this is I opened a new presentation and it put me, this is a blank presentation in what I call edit mode. I think PowerPoint refers to it as normal. The first slide that it automatically gives you is a title slide, which is good. You need to start out with the title slide. If you want to add text to it, you do just as it says. You click to add title. So I'm going to click my cursor there and then type whatever the text is that I want to appear right here. So welcome to PowerPoint 2007. Pretty straightforward. Title slide's not quite enough though. I need another slide. I need at least two or three more slides. So I'm going to insert a new slide, which is the next thing. I'm under the Home tab, and notice that PowerPoint 2007 has these tabs across the top. As I click on each of them, the icons change that you can select and work from. So let's start off with our Home tab that has a lot of the basic functions under it. The next thing I need to do is insert a new slide. So I'm going to click right here and say New Slide. When I click on it, it gives me the option of choosing from different looks and themes. Um, sometimes it'll automatically insert a slide on it, sometimes it'll give you choice, and I'll show you how to change that in a second. But let's insert the most basic slide here, which is title and content. So again, it has an opportunity, a place where I can click my title, title is here, and then here can be my text. Make sure that you keep your text to phrases. You don't want to write out full long sentences. You want to keep it short and sweet. So every time I hit the enter key or the return key, it gives me a new bullet point, and that's the default for PowerPoint. Um, a few other things I can do while I'm under the Home tab here. Let's say I think my font is too little. I want to change the font. So here's the font section right over here. Um, I can pull down and change the type of my font I use, or the size, or the color, or boldface, or whatever. But the first thing I need to do is highlight the fonts I want to change. So let's change the body text here. So I'm going to highlight it, and let's find a snazzy font I can use. Again, you want to keep your fonts pretty simple, easy to read for your audience. I think that'll work. And let's change the color too. Let's make it red. I like red. I also want to make the font a little bigger, and there's a couple ways I can do that. This large A, when I click on it, it automatically makes it a few sizes larger. And when I click on the small A, it automatically makes it a few sizes smaller. You can also choose a custom font size from this list here and change it that way. Now another thing you can do in PowerPoint under the home view is change the look of your slide. This layout is again the title and the um, it just has a place where I can put in general information. But let's say I want two columns on my slide. I want one column that has the text, and then I want to put a picture on the right side of my slide. So I'm going to change the layout of my slide. So while I'm on this slide, I'm going to, under my layout, pull down, look at the different options I have here, and one of them here is two content, which is what I want. So I'm going to click on that, and boom, it changes my slide for me automatically. Let's go ahead and insert a picture now just to jazz this up a little bit. Um, how I'm going to insert things is under the Insert tab. So I'm going to click on my Insert tab and it's going to give me some new choices. I can insert a picture and when I insert a picture, it's a picture, an existing picture that I have on my computer or on my USB. Clipart, on the other hand, goes out on the internet and searches for pictures for you. If you're on a computer that hooks into the internet, it automatically connects you to Microsoft Office Clip Art Gallery, which has thousands and thousands of uh, photographs and illustrations out there. Let's start with the first one, Picture. So I'm going to click on the Picture selection there, and then I have to go out on my computer and search for the pictures. And I'll use this one. So I just click on the picture, and I say Insert, and it puts it in. Now here's something to know also. Notice it put it in really small. Usually it puts it in really large. Um, I need to make this bigger so my audience can actually see this. How you want to do that, you want to grab the corners of your photograph. 
If I grab the corners, it keeps the picture in proportion. If I were to grab the little side corner here, not the corner, but the side one, oh no, now look, we all gained like 20 pounds and that's no good. And by the way, if you do something like this and want to change it back on your keyboard, if you do control Z, that always undoes the last thing that you did. So I fixed that. I'm going to grab the corner that I make it just a little bit larger in there. That's a good picture I'm happy with. Let's say I want to do clip art. Let's go back over here to my insert tab again. And now I want to insert clip art. And this is a picture of me and my kids at a baseball game. I've already typed baseball in here, but um, let's say I wanted to search for anything, baseball, cats, horses, um, people, whatever you want to search. You just click the word, type the word in, and then say go, and it'll do a search for you. And here it gave me a lot of different options of baseball pictures. So just find one that I like. We'll go with a simple little baseball here. And notice as I scroll my cursor across it, it um, pulls down this little blue sidebar with a pull down arrow, arrow, and I can say insert. Also, if you double click the photograph, it will insert it automatically for you as well. Now, here's what just happened. The background of this picture is white and it's so big it covered my entire slide. So that's no good, that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna again have to drag my corner here and make it smaller. Okay, there's the rest of my picture back and I can put my baseball wherever I want on my page. So that's how you insert pictures. All right, let's do one more thing before we exit this. Let's change the background. This white background is a little boring and a little blah. Let's make it a little prettier. How I'm going to do that is I'm going to go under the Design tab. Click on the Design tab, and here in the center it gives me themes, all different looks that my slides might have. If I scroll my cursor across it, it gives you a little preview of what it's potentially going to look like. And then you're going to be able to do some more changes from here. So just find one that you like, find one that you're happy with, and select it. I like this one. Let's go with this one right now. So I click on it, and then it automatically, notice it just changed my title slide as well. It, apply, it applies that theme to your entire presentation. So see, my title slide looks a little different. Um, the other thing I'm going to want to do while I'm here is maybe change the color. Maybe I don't like this color. Actually, this happens to be Astro's red, so I'm pretty happy with that. But here, I can click on colors and pull, click on it. You get the pull down. And again, as I scroll my cursor across it, it gives me a little preview of what all the different colors potentially look like. And when I find one that I like, I just click on it. And it changes it for me automatically throughout my presentation. Now just a few other basic things to show you while we're still in PowerPoint. Down at the bottom of the page, notice it has click to add notes. What's really nice about this is you can add notes for yourself specific to that slide. Your audience won't see these notes, but when you print out your slide, you can see them. So I can say that I want to tell a um, story about first baseball game and um, Astros stats for this season. And I can go into specific stats um, and type those in. Now, notice again, it doesn't appear on my slide. It only appears on my notes. And here's how I'm going to get this where only I can see it. I'm going to go under print, which print now is under this little icon here. And I'm going to say print. And I can select what I want to print right here. I want to print a notes page. And how that's going to look, I'll show you a preview, how that's going to look when I print it out is it will have my slide at the top and all of those notes that I typed down here at the bottom. And the nice thing about this is I know what I want to say that goes along with each slide. And again, my audience does not see this. So it's just a nice way as a speaker that you can keep track of your notes. So those are just a few of the basic things you can do in PowerPoint. One last thing I want to show you before we exit is how you actually show this to your audience. A couple choices you have. When you pull up the PowerPoint to give your speech, it's going to look like this. But you need to put it into the presentation mode. So right here down in the bottom right hand corner, one of my choices is slideshow. It looks like a little projector screen. And I click on that. And this is how it's actually going to look when it comes up for my audience. You can use your arrow keys or your space key forward from slide to slide.
So anyway, I hope this presentation has helped show you a few of the basic things in PowerPoint. For information on how to do more advanced things, like make your bullet points come in one at a time or add sounds into your presentation, see the next Flash presentation on advanced PowerPoint. Thank you very much.